Right, in this lesson we're looking at software for physically challenged users. Uh, just remember we're looking at software, not hardware, so this is going to be quite important as we look at what we have available for physically challenged users. We're going to look at the following things, guys. We're going to look at voice recognition software, text-to-speech software, and screen readers, which is also a text-to-speech thing as well. Let's start off with the first one, okay? Text-to-speech. Basically, just to give a definition for text-to-speech, uh, for a screen reader that is, a screen reader uses a text-to-speech uh, or a TTS engine to translate on-screen information into speech, which can be heard through earphones or speakers. Now, this isn't just text-to-speech in terms of reading words. It's also things like moving your mouse over pictures, for example, and the software reads back to you whatever alternative text might be in that picture, or if it's really good software, it tries to describe what that picture is about. Okay, so it's actually pretty cool. Very, very advanced technology that we have. So text-to-speech kind of looks like this, all right, or screen readers and text-to-speech looks like this. It has a look at a couple of paragraphs on the screen, and what does it do? It then is able to analyze that and read it back to you simply by putting your mouse over it, and then it reads the text back to you. That's pretty cool, okay. Right, have a look here. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys a very cool thing now on text-to-speech and a reader that's built into Microsoft Edge. Check this. Select all my text, right-click, go to Read Aloud Selection. Have Our story. Michael Curran and James Tay met his children on a music camp for the blind where they realized they shared a strong interest in computers. Change the voice. Several years later they decided to join forces to help improve the accessibility of computers for blind and vision impaired people. People For blind people to use a computer, they need a screen reader, which reads the text on the screen in a synthetic voice or with a braille display. How's that? I mean, isn't that amazing, okay? So that's simply just selecting text on a screen and then having the computer read it back to you. That's built into Microsoft Edge. So cool, guys. Right, another cool tool that we use is voice recognition software. And a lot of you are probably used to this already. We use this all the time. Let's have a look at a basic definition. Voice recognition software is software used to convert spoken language into text by using speech recognition algorithms. It can also be used to control a computer operating system by giving voice commands. So you know what, if you wanted to try it out, if you have access to Microsoft Office 365, okay, or even if you go online to Word Online, it's even there, have a look here, okay? If you go to the ribbon, go through all of those groups there, it's still in the Home tab, Dictate. Dictate, there it is there, okay. You hit the Dictation tool, the Dictate tool in Microsoft Office applications recognizes your voice and is able to translate what you say from analog speech into digital text. Okay, Give it a try, I dare you. It works so, so well. You can even go and check online at the online version of Microsoft Word. If you have a look there and you go to the Dictate tool, there it is there, you'll see that there's two things there. There's the Dictate, which is also the same in the desktop version, but they've got a nice extra thing here called Transcribe. So you could record yourself saying something, like reading something, for example, and then upload the video to there, to the thing, program, and it will then transcribe the, the audio that you've, your voice that you've recorded. That is so cool. So guys, there you go. Just so that you are aware that technology is for everybody and made for everyone, no matter what their ability is.